Are we on? Uh, yeah. Let's count and give people an opportunity. Okay, I think we're going. So afternoon everybody. As promised, we're back at Hammond Park House and we've just been given a tour to Sir Donald. I forgot your second name, I'm afraid. He's one of the leading architects in the country, semi-retired. And they've just gone and, as promised, I was said I would show you the basement. The basement is normally uh, out of bounds, but today we have special access to this area. Now, last week I did a tour of the ground floor, the first floor. Um, so, we are on the basement. And then you're going to see what I showed you last week, which is a bit dark. And it's all the floors collapsed from top to bottom. So you can just make out the fireplace on the wall. And looking around, you can see a doorway. And at the top, you can just make out a hanging door. And we've got another area to the left. All right. There's lots of little side rooms. I don't know exactly what these rooms are used for, I'm afraid. Okay. So in the future, if the house gets restored, a lot of these side rooms can be rented out to, say, arts and crafts. At the moment, this is being used for some kind of storage for the 24, 24 hour security on this site. So, all these little tiny rooms, we're thinking about arts and crafts. Um, even people like the Model Aeroplane Club over the airpark could rent out a couple of rooms for their maintenance. But basically, all these rooms are similar sizes. Just power. As you can see, graffiti over the years has taken hold. It seems quite spooky down here actually when you're on your own. Ah! <laughs> so that's Katie, our historian on the team. It's just us two here now. Okay, so when this house was first built, we believe that the, um, the room underneath the main staircase was a wine cellar or a cold room, stroke larder, in the First World War and the Old People's Era, which was about 30 to 40 years, it was turned into a mortuary. So the, the dead would lay to rest and taken away via a side exit, so no one saw the bodies. And the room to my left now, is that room and as you can see it's got a faulted ceiling very eerie and on the uh, the ghost hunt that's been happening here and there's a couple more happening next month there's been quite a lot of activity here so we're directly underneath the lobby area upstairs on the ground floor and this leads into a little passage area. Don't really know what it would have been used for, but this um, leads to underneath the, the staircase as you walk to the house. So you can see, I don't know, you can see it on, the, on the video, but this wall is curved where the stairs are. It doesn't lead anywhere. So all the stories about a tunnel that went from... Okay, I think we're back on. I, lost, I managed to lose reception then, so hopefully we're back on. Uh, this was the staircase up to the main lobby area, which is obviously not in use anymore, it's all gone. And you can just see up there the main lobby, which is all cornered off. Very long corridors. 
So this is the lift shaft that was put in, we believe, for the old people's era. And this is a, an interesting room. It's got a, like a fold, uh, like a circular ceiling, and the floor is missing. So this, this, these would have been rooms for the old people uh, back in the the twenties uh, and thirties. I'm not really sure. And then again, all the actual floors are missing. So I'm actually standing on the actual dirt itself. Now, I think I managed to. Uh, I think you, I think I managed to lose connection. I'm going to try again, but every time I go around this corner, it's like a black a black spot in reception. So if it wasn't for my torch now, we'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, this is the uh, the engine room. The engine room, the mechanism room for the uh, for the lift. And as you can see, it's like stopped in time. Literally, all the wires are there still. I'm looking up the ceiling. You can just make out the ground floor there. We're underneath, we're underneath at the moment the ballroom and as you can see it's all supported up which is exactly the same in, in, in the actual ballroom itself. So compared to compared to the uh, the ground floor, there's a lot. But the rooms downstairs are a lot smaller. Right, we're going to make our way outside. Now, some people might wonder; they might have seen a bit of daylight. So we call it the basement. Technically, it's not a basement because it's actually ground level. Uh, when you enter the front of the house, the stairs that go up to the main door are so steep and high that you actually, uh, the ground floor is actually quite high. And as you can see, I've just literally just walked out onto ground level. So a few, a few of the members have asked me to do a quick tour of the outside. As you can see, all the windows have been smashed over the years. Not the best day to do this, it's dark, getting dark, damp, cold. Got a sign there, Hammer Park entrance this way. We've got a clock tower here that wasn't original, it was added by the Perkin, Perkins family. Uh, for what use we don't know. But we've got a wonderful idea if it gets restored to maybe have a climbing wall inside for youth clubs, schools and various people that can use it. And then here we've got a, a large courtyard that could be turned into some lovely communal gardens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around the other side of the house and then we're going to finish this video. So this part of the building here is a nine, well, roughly about a 1960s build added on for the, the dining room for the old people's room. That's the, uh, that's the security. So where this uh, extension is now, that will actually come off the building if restored, because it's not very good, would have been a Victorian summer house. 
and there are pictures on the Facebook page that can show you that it was uh, a lovely piece and unfortunately it was taken away so some lovely balconies that balcony is actually where the ballroom is so you could have some nice tables in there I'll, I'll take I would take it see all the iron work so the ballroom's exactly where we are now I mean, the, the detail on the ironwork is amazing. Now, if you see here, you can just make out Elmwood Avenue where the flats are through there. Getting, not being too far from Heathrow, we're still underneath the flight path. So those stairs would have led down to the communal gardens, which as you can see, you can't use. Right, we're making our way back round to the front of the house. Right, I think we're just about finished. So hopefully the people who are asking for the outside, that is enough for today and the basement. And last week I did the ground floor and the first floor. So if you want to see that, it will be on the Facebook page. Uh, it might have dropped down the post a little bit since the week's gone. And that video has already attracted about 8,500 people. So we are getting there with coverage. Okay, I think that's it. So thanks very much. And um, the next time I'm here, I will hopefully do another one. Thank you. See you later.